Hello everyone, no respawns here, happy Friday and all that bullshit. So, I've got a very short video for the EU today, uh, mainly because the build I was going to do I haven't finished yet, so I'm going to finish that for tomorrow, or maybe Sunday, depends on how hungover I am tonight. Um, and I thought I would do a mod review of something that was sent to me the other day, which I already got round to trying out. Which is, if you haven't gathered already, is regarding posters. Now, I've wanted something like this for quite a while, but it's very difficult to implement on PS4. From the reason and the way they've done this is why I really like it as well, because it works the same as custom vanilla assets, how you place the lights. So basically, I've got the mod in now. It's in the so it's not in the USO integrated menu. It'll be just in your oops, a little bit lag, in your standard wall decorations. And I've actually disabled a lot of my old mods uh, to actually clear up. So just go into posters. It doesn't have an icon for whatever reason. And you've got all of these posters here. They're very, very cool. And these are basically everything you see around the game, right? Everything you see. I think it might actually be literally all of the posters. I don't know if they're going to add more, but to my knowledge. But you'll notice something hope you'll notice something unless it actually works. Let's take off... Let's take off my vault poster for a sec. Right, so I'm not going to place this. Which is why I like how they've done this. So if I place... Just let me just show something. So if I try and place this here... I can't place it, right? Now the reason I can't place that is um, the very clever way they've designed... It. Well, the way this, this works in PS4. Those of you who have had custom villa assets may have got to this period and think, I don't know what to do. Now, a quick thing you may notice, this isn't glowing green. Now, the reason it's not glowing green is because of the fact that on PS4, you can't... It doesn't snap to anything, right? It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's not a traditional item, <clears throat> which means that... Because on PS4, we can't make... We can't script... That's right, I understand it, basically. We can't make a script that makes it snap to things, so I can't, you know, have it green and, like, snap onto a surface so it kind of places on the walls, you know. For example, if I, you know, move this around... Like, I can't, it do, I can't, they can't script to do that, which is what the problem is. However, there's a weird thing, right? So if I, and they've even, they've even put a description of how to do it, which is what I really like about this. So in the posters menu, for convenience, because it's a very well-designed mod, you may have noticed it when I scrolled by really fast. If they've included a post, right, and it says PBI, so, um, once the post touches the ground, um, the build option, what do they mean by that is if you're scrolling through, right, when you're in the menu, just don't move. Scroll to the post, it's green. Now scroll to the post you want, or any poster now, you're fine. I want that one. Where is it? I've lost it now. It's all at the end. <laughs> there we go. And then I can pop this here, and it will be placeable. And the blue, one second. You need to get this perfect, because the one thing about this is you will not be able to take these off. Just as an FYI. Voila. Right? Now... The reason I like that is one is so the, the reason for that I don't know why scrolling to an item and then scrolling back to the poster makes it placeable. It's the same thing with the lights in custom villa assets as well as the billboards, anything basically that doesn't have any kind of outline like that. And those of you remember what I would do is I would just literally just stand deathly still if I remember showing you in the castle video especially. And I have to scroll around ages. But I really like the fact that the person designing this mod, uh, which I'm going to quickly forgot to mo mention their name, which is, oh, it's an acronym, so O-I-C-T-O-O-T-P, because, fucking goddammit, <laughs> that's a complex name, whatever, there, that person, uh, thought ahead, basically, and actually designed the mod, so, basic, you can just do it all in the menu, so you scroll to the middle, you get your poster like that, and then you can scroll and get anything you want, so I'm gonna... What am I going to do? Oh, I want to I wanna play some of the ones that we don't normally get. There's quite a lot of cool shit in here as well, which I really, really like. Oh, I can't see. So a lot of them are just your standard posters, but there are things like, you know, for example, this one here, which I really like, which will suit my kind of patriotism vibe that I've got going for my little power armor area. And I'm going to put this one as well. Where am I going to put this one? By the way, even though loads of you, or most of you have seen it, this is my home plate. This is my favourites. Probably my favourite builds ever. And I like to add to it now and then, if you hadn't guessed. Which is why I immediately came here to demonstrate this mod. And yeah, it's it's just, it's, it's something I've wanted for ages. And it's been, from what I can gather, it's just 
been really complex and confusing to instigate, I don't know where to put this, um, instigate on PS4. Obviously, you on Xbox and PC peeps probably already have it, but us PS4 scrubs... Ooh. Ah, see, I can't place it there, so I have to go over that one. Um, it's PS4 scrubs, haven't been able to. Now, you may notice I'm being very, very cautious in... Where's my thingy gone? I'm being very, very uh, particular in how I place it. The reason being is because, to my knowledge, you can't scrap these. These might be able to. I'm just going to try something that you might be able to. So just go to the post and then scroll over. It seems to be fine. Uh, for what I can remember correctly, you'll probably get how this works. But if I leave the menu is when I then have to do the post thing again, basically. As long as I stay in the menu, I'm pretty good. So let's see, it's, it's quite straightforward. Bear in mind they're invisible from the back. So if you, for example, place this, if I just had this floating there, if I'd stood behind it, I'd be able to see through it, just as a, an FYI. Now I'm gonna test something, so I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't grab that, but I might be able to because someone, sorry, I can't remember who it was. So I'm out of the menu now, I'm gonna go back into it. If I remember correctly, it works with the lights. If you go out of the menu and go back in, you can actually then select and scrap the item. I'm not sure. Hopefully you can, because it'll just make this a little bit less. Because you'll be able to edit and change it if you can't move them later on. Oh, you can. Okay, fantastic. There we go. So, basically, if you ever want to, if you want to get rid of these, you have to exit the menu first. I think it might be something to do with the way the game remembers it. It might even then be, I don't know if it is then. Nah, okay, so you can't move them, but you can get rid of them, okay? So yeah, that's, um, it's called Posters of the Commonwealth, the link in the description down below. It's a really, really neat little mod, and as you can see, you can actually delete the posters afterwards, and the way the post thing works is very, very straightforward. So, the first time you enter the menu, stand still, scroll to the post first, so make sure it goes green, and then you can just, and then just scroll to the process, and you can just do whatever you like, and that is all you need to do. That's literally it. And if you want to delete the posters or store them or just get rid of them, then you have to exit the menu and go back in. I think that just confirms them or whatever. And then you can scrap them. And there are loads in there as well. Let's quickly have another look through to remind you all. Because it it's good. I think I like these because the posters we've got are the ones that come with the lights on the top. You know, they're a bit... They're cool looking, but realistically, how many of us you know, put posters in frames? And more importantly, how many of us put posters in frames with lights? Yeah, unless you happen to, I don't know have a mate who works in a cinema who can hit, you know, supply you with the uh, unused ones, you're probably not going to use them very much, whereas these are the ones you see all out of the game. So there are loads in here as well, there's so much good stuff. So I'm probably going to slowly replace <laughs> quite a lot of my, a lot of my posters. Anyway, yeah, so as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I'll put the link in the description. This is a PS4 only one, but those on your Xbox and PC already know that you can find this shit anyway. You just have to search posters. It'll be fine. Uh, don't forget to give the mod dev a nice high rating if you like the mod. It seems to work perfectly fine. I haven't had any conflicts. Hasn't he um, upset? He did say that in the description that you do actually need, for whatever reason, to actually have the unlock seven objects mod also. Something to do with the base uh, dependency, but it doesn't actually include itself in the USO menu. So basically give them some love, because obviously it gives them some love. It means it comes onto the top of the search page, which is always grand. And yes, I will have a, another Abernathy farm video up soon. I don't know what. I'm thinking of doing a saloon or something else. I don't know, because I'm kind of, maybe kind of do a dry rot gulch thing, but I'm not, don't hold me to that, yeah? Because it might not suit the area. But until then, you guys, take care.